Hey, what's going on guys? This is Desmond with I Review The Fly and I'm coming to share with you some kicks that I picked up because guys, it's summertime and of course, I need some all white kicks. You gotta have all white kicks for the summertime coming about. I mean, you know, you gotta have, you gotta have your light colored shoes. So guys, I've been out looking for some shoes and I came across a pair of shoes that I'm reviewing don't know if I really like them, don't know if I think they're really that dope, don't know, I'm just kind of in between right now, but anyhow guys, I want to give you the review on them, tell you my thoughts and, 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 my, and, and my yays and nays about these shoes, which I think they're pretty cool, but I have some butts about them, they are the Nike Air Max Zero Essentials. All white editions, got an all white colorway, guys. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna go ahead and open the box up, guys, and show you what I'm, I'm talking about. And like I said, I'm looking for, I was looking for some all white sneakers because you gotta have all white sneakers for the summertime, guys. I mean, there's no way around that, you know. Uh, bright colors. Um, I know some people they, they, they you know, they, they, they are very crazy about getting all these different crazy color shoes and everything else. Me. I like the different color combinations. I have some crazy dunks with crazy color combinations, but when it is said and done, you gotta have just a plain white shoe. So any guys, just wanted to unbox them and show you guys what I'm talking about right here. Uh, the Nike Air, I can't remember the name, <laughs> the name is so long. The Nike Air Max Zero Essentials, the Nike Air Max Zeros. We'll, we'll keep it short for that. And, and you know, what is it? I mean, it's just a, Plain white shoe. I mean, it's a very nice shoe. Um, I haven't even tried the shoes on yet. I mean, I, I you know, I kind of picked them up. I was in a rush. I got them from Champs, and I was in a rush, so I kind of picked them up. I mean, they look good to me. Um, seeing they have nice cushion in the bottom of them. Uh, there's no movable tongue, so that's another good thing. It's like I told you guys before in previous videos with me. Um, just I guess the way my my feet are set up, that you know, one side of the you know. If, when I start wearing a shoe, the tongue starts to lay to the side. So I'm really a big fan, once again, of the non-movable tongues. But you know, it's just a, it's just a white sneaker. I mean, it's really nice. You know, something that you can, you can, you can wear these with, with some, with some khaki shorts. You know, um, or you can put on with some jeans or something like that. Or you can, just, you know, you can wear some basketball shorts or some joggers too. I mean, it's just, it's just a solid white shoe, guys. Now. What I am not a big fan of though, is this cloth front, this, this white cloth front, this white cloth back. I mean, literally guys, you literally have white cloth in the places where the most damage can happen to your shoes. I mean, and I don't know about other people, but me, I have a, I have a seven month old son, baby. All it takes is for him to drop something on these and they're ruined. All it takes is for you to be walking, you know, at a barbecue and some sauce come off of your food and they're ruined. Um, you get my draft. You mean, you get my drip. I mean, my drip. I mean, these these are great looking shoes, but the problem is, and it's not just with Nike, but all these other companies are making these white sneakers not in leather because they want to cheap out and save money. Who in their right damn mind want to spend that kind of money for some shoes that you know are gonna get destroyed. Hence the reason why I didn't get the Harachis, the all white Harachis, because the same thing. Yeah, the Harachis had the front splash guard on them, but it's still white mesh in, on the top of the shoe. The most vulnerable part of the shoe to, to get destroyed, guys. So, I'll be quite frank with you guys. You know, I like this shoe, but is this a shoe that I would keep? Hell no. Why? I just explained it to you. The shoes will get ruined, and for paying $140 for these sneakers, which is unfreaking believable to pay that amount for some cloth sneakers, there's no way in heaven, hell, or earth I would keep these damn shoes. So, what if, if I have to give a rating on these shoes, and the uh, all the other companies is making white sneakers with cloth fronts for crazy amounts of money, I would actually have to give these shoes a damn five. And why I'm gonna give them a five is just like I said, the cloth, they're a great looking shoe, but you're about to, you just, you're just gonna waste money. You're just gonna waste money. I'm not into wasting money. I got kids, I got a wife, I got a house, 
I got car payments and stuff like that. And I don't want to waste money on shoes. I mean, I'm a sneakerhead, but I'm just, I'm not stupid sneakerhead. So anyhow, guys, there you go. That's my review of these shoes. I'm actually going to put them on my feet so you guys can still get a 360 view of how the shoes look on your feet. I mean, I think they are dope kicks. But because the reason that Nike and other companies do the same thing, they're cheaping out on white sneakers, there is just no way possible I can rationalize in my mind to keep these sneakers because I know damn well they will get destroyed within a month of having them. So anyhow guys, hold on, I'll be right back to give you that 360 view of the Nike Air Max Zero Essential White Potential Dingy Brown Dirty Sneakers when they get dirty shoes. Anyhow guys, right, I'll be right guys, back. I am back. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a uh, a view of these uh, of the shoes on my feet. Even though I don't, I, you know, I'm not a fan of them because of the because of the color wave and how Nike, like I said, the other these other shoe companies are deciding to make white shoes and cloth and charge you crazy amounts of money. But I am gonna give you guys a 360 view of these shoes on my feet so you guys can see how they do look. Now I will say about the um about the about these shoes, the Nike Air Max Zero Essentials. In the other color wave, they are very nice. I mean, I'm not saying the shoe is, is a whack shoe. It's a nice shoe. It's just, you'd be absolutely stupid to purchase these shoes in all white and think in your mind that you're gonna have your nice pair of shoes that you're gonna have for years to come. So anyhow, guys, with that being said, let's go ahead and try these shoes on and go from there. So, go ahead and up so I can get them on. I literally I have not put my foot in these shoes at all. So let's see. Go ahead and get the left left foot in. Feet do slide in them pretty easily. And they're pretty comfortable, you know. They are comfortable shoes. You know. So you know I'm not gonna say the shoes are a bad shoe. It's just Nike <coughs> decide to cheap out and not put leather on the damn shoe ridiculous you know so I got the left foot on let me go ahead and put the right foot on you know very comfortable shoe and I guess it'd be even more comfortable once they're broken in but unfortunately these shoes this color wave right here will never ever get to see the light of day on my feet because I'm not taking a chance of just wasting money so anyhow guys here we go. <clears throat> White sneakers, you know. Now they, like I said, the other color waves they got in, like the black and gray ones, really dope sneaker. Shoe that you, you definitely want to have in your collection, but the all whites, there's just no way in the world possible that I could rationalize in my mind spending 140 or whatever for a pair of white cloth sneakers that's just ridiculous anyhow guys here you go 360 view of the nike air zero air max i'm sorry nike air max zero essentials and all white color waves like i said dope shoe definitely not gonna keep these just because the shoe will get destroyed in a matter of seconds anyhow guys like this video, comment on this video, subscribe to my channel, do all of that shit, you know, so you can make sure that you get more of my updates when I review other shoes and kicks and things of that nature, guys. Um, anyhow, I'm out. Desmond Collins, I review the fly. Peace!